are two angles whose measure sum up to 90 degrees. So we can write it like this. Angle measures sum to 90 degrees. And so what that means is, let's say for instance you have this 90 degree angle here. Complementary angles would be the two angles when you add, the two angles that you add together that make this 90 degree angle. Now a common question is, well, do they have to be connected together? The answer is no. As a matter of fact, you can have you can have um, let me draw this out a little better here. You can have one angle be this size and the other angle can be that size and you can call this angle one and angle two and if you connect them together it looks like they make 90 degrees but anyway for you know arguments sake we're just gonna say that they both um, equal 90 degrees this one's 45 degrees and this one's 45 degrees let's just say yeah they can be they don't have to be attached so that's just a common question people ask you know students ask they're like well do they have to be connected no the answer is no but anyway, complementary angles are angles that um, their sum of their angle measures equal to 90 degrees. Okay, let me get rid of some of this again. And the next one we're gonna next pair we're gonna talk about are called supplementary angles. And supplementary angles, the same as the complementary, except they sum up to 180 degrees. So angle measures sum to 180 degrees. And so that looks something like this. And again, do they have to be connected to each other? No, they don't have to be adjacent angles at all. As a matter of fact, they can be separate. Like, I'll just draw it over here. Okay, this angle here can be 120 degrees, and this angle here can be 60 degrees, and if you add them together, you get 180 degrees. So 120 plus 60 equal 180. Okay, and the last pair of angles I'm going to talk about are vertical angles. Now let me show you how vertical angles are actually made. Vertical angles appear when you have two lines that intersect. Okay, these would be the vertical angles. And they're also congruent, okay, as well as non-adjacent too. If two lines intersect then The non adjacent vertical angles formed are congruent. Okay. It's enough to just say if two lines intersect, then the vertical angles formed are congruent. It's fine just to say that, but I'm throwing non adjacent in there because it's important to know that vertical angles are never going to be adjacent to each other, meaning this is angle 1, this would be angle 2, but angle 1 and 2 are, non -adja are, are adjacent and they're not vertical angles. Instead, angle 1 and this angle 2 are vertical angles. And on top of that, they are congruent to each other, meaning they have the exact same measure. And since we've mentioned about congruency here, uh, let me take this time to mention something very important in when you're doing your proofs in geometry. When you want to say that, you know, angle one is congruent to angle two. Okay, I'm not referring to this these vertical angles here. I'm just saying in general, whenever you need to prove this line right here, the line right before it needs to say the measure of angle one is equal to the measure of angle two. I'm just taking this time right now to, to mention this because this is very important when you're doing your proofs. Anytime you're proving congruency, you always want to make sure the line right before it has, you know, it talks about measure. So, and something I'd actually like to mention before we tie things up as well. Um, 
if you take a look at these complementary and supplementary angles, one question, I remember somebody asking this question, they said, well, you know what, what if you have, let's say for complementary angles, let's say for instance you had a third angle in here, let's say you had another line. Uh, are these complementary angles, meaning is angle 1, angle 2, and angle 3 uh, complementary angles? The answer is no. Uh, complementary angles only are assigned to, that name complementary is assigned to two angles whose sum of angle measures equal 90 degrees. So, no, it doesn't work like that. And the same thing applies with 180 degree uh, supplementary angles. If they're supplementary, there isn't a third angle in here. And you can't say one, two, three. You can't say these are supplementary. It's just going to be two angles. So, just to make sure that that is something that is very clear. And one more thing. Um, you see these vertical angles right here, the angle 1 and angle 2. As a matter of fact, these are vertical angles also right here. Just more than a minute. I probably should have mentioned it before, but anyway, uh, we could just say this is angle 3 and this is angle 4. And just to sum this entire uh, vertical angle explanation up, we could say that angle 3 is congruent to angle 4 and that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. So anyway, I hope this uh, tutorial helped out, and once again, good luck with your homework and tests in the future, and thank you for watching.